All right, so this is a glimpse into the way of a seducer online course. It's also a glimpse into the seductive or the traits of a seducer. So the 10 different traits that make up, according to me, a great seducer. So only for that, you can look at the themes and uh, you'll get an idea of what makes up a great seducer. The Way of Seducer online course has been my baby for over years now. It's the, the place where I share my best material. It's also where I work the closest with each of the 10 participants. It has also been evolving over the years, but the changes that I made this time around are so big that it deserves a kind of expose and, and walk you through the different themes and what is new in this course. I'll begin with that actually. I'll begin by saying uh, what's new? In fact, I'll begin by saying what's the same. The same is that it's still a weekly theme uh, with a weekly mission. It's also two weekly calls and daily interactions with 10 other men and me on a private uh, Facebook group. That's the same. What's new is this. I have completely rewritten the course, all of the theoretical parts, all of the missions, all of the roundups. I've completely rewritten them. Um, more interviews. So uh, more than before, I'm going to have interviews with several people, uh, almost for every theme. I have a, an interview, uh, for example, with Kelly Maldet, with Chris Bale, with Sam Perriam, with Steve Maeda, and many others. So more interviews, more teachings also. I will do more academic uh, explanations in, of this nature, where I address the theme and present my main learnings on the theme in an academic way on a whiteboard like just like this one because some guys learn better that way more glimpses into my world i will make videos of me and how the theme applies uh, to my world in my day-to-day -day life more exclusive material i will be reserving my most exclusive and best material for this group for the way of a seducer online course for those 10 men during those three months so uh, more exclusive material and last but not least Two one-on-one -on -one, uh, calls. Each participant gets two one-on-one -on -one calls with me for questions that you have about very specific situations or situations or questions that you don't really want to share with the whole group. All of that is new. Um, what is also new is that I have uh, reformatted the whole course into three main parts. Three main parts along the lines of um, the taxonomy of a seducer, which I made a video about before, also along the lines of my book, The Way of a Seducer, a Code of Honor to a Lost Art. The three parts are this, seduction as a practice in self-expression. In self when we start this journey of seduction, it is often a practice in self-expression. We're expressing ourselves to the world, to the women. B, second part, seduction as a dance for two. When we accept ourselves enough, when we love ourselves enough, we start looking at how to dance with the other and start understanding the laws of uh, the dance that is seduction. Third part is the darker side of seduction. This is, uh, this is the edge of my understanding and I will be uh, sharing with you the edge of my understanding, everything that's uh, politically incorrect uh, I will share it with you and this group. Before that, however, I have an intro uh, and it talks about preparation. A seducer is well prepared. A lot of men when thinking, I, I introduced the three piece puzzle that is seduction. I made a video about that all already um, and you can watch it elsewhere. It is about seduction as one, preparation, two, interaction and three, um, logistics. Most men, when thinking about seduction, think about interaction only. We're going to focus this first period on preparation and I'll tell you that the changes you make in this area will have a, a very deep impact in your success with women. Then we go into the first part and in that first part, seduction as a practice in self-expression, we talk about how a seducer is present as fuck. <laughs> we talk about how a seducer is a man of action. He's a man of great desire. We have a bonus uh, theme that is called conviction. He's also a man who is in touch with his anger. Maybe a, a greater uh, taboo than sex, anger. But a seducer is always in touch with his anger. Bonus there is uh, a week of challenge. Um, and only the people of this course will know what that, what that will be. Um, then we move on to the second part, seduction as a dance for two, where we talk about how a seducer is generous, 
We have a, a theme and a mission on generosity leading into leadership. And this, for me, is the crucial theme that maybe encompasses best what it means to be a seducer. He is a leader of his tribe. We have a bonus theme there called independence. And then the tool of a leader is the next theme, inclusivity. I've often referred to seduction as a, a two-step process, which is one, meet the other in their world, two, lead the other into your world. Step one of that seductive process is always, first and foremost, to meet the other in their world so she feels seen, felt, and heard. That is the theme of inclusivity. Bonus theme there is girlfriend management, management where we go into the specifics of how to deal with your girlfriend. <laughs> Uh, the last part, the third part, is the darker side of seduction. Everything that's not so politically correct and uh, which is a bit more edgy. And we're going to talk about that. Theme number eight is a seducer speaks the language of women. Um, I've often referred to it that to understand women, it's safe and good to say that women speak a different language. We're going to talk about that language, how to understand it and how to start speaking it. Um, next is brutality versus dignity. A seducer understands the brutality that's at the heart of seduction and he deals with it with dignity. This tension we're going to talk about in theme number nine. Bonus there is your seductive ways where we're going to stress that each man is different and that you have to find your seductive ways and we're going to try to find uh, a way for you to see what are your seductive traits, what are your most seductive arrows and then 10 always the last theme in my course anything we do is gratitude because a seducer uh, has gratitude that's the last theme of the course three more things despite th this is the backbone of the course this is what we're going to fall back to uh, but independent of that all of your questions will be answered if you have questions that pertain to one of the themes or about something else uh, it will be shared with the group and with me and it, they will be answered uh, larger if you want themes or issues to be addressed by the group uh, we will do that this is a co-created um, effort that is a community of all leaders and so if there are, the group thinks that other themes need to be addressed we will do that in the past uh, renditions of the course we talked about humor we talked about mischief we talked about sex anything that is important to the group will be addressed last but not least this is by invitation only. Only 10 men enter in this group. So if you are interested in partaking in this rendition of the Way of a Seducer online course, find me personally. Send me a personal message via Gmail, hanskomein at gmail.com, via Messenger, my name, via Instagram, my name. Uh, find me, send me a, a, a message, apply for one of the spots, and we'll see if this course is a good fit for you. And if you are a good fit for uh, the whole group. I'll see you later.